Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Zard here. We're back at it with the news, the commentary. Time to let you guys know what the f going on. And before we get into any of this, I just want to say thank you, guys. We just hit 70 subs on the main channel. Let's go. Massive W. I want to thank all you guys. I just want you guys to know, whenever you guys drop a comment, whenever you sub, I see it. I see it. I will remember all you guys when I pop off, which will happen. I'm going to fucking make this happen. I hope you guys are aware of that. And I will remember each and every one of you guys that drops a comment and likes and all that shit. But now let's get into the news. Just I just wanted to say thank you guys for the 70 subs real quick before we got into any of this. First off, FoosyTube is still fucking, you know, being FoosyTube. And there's more shit going on with him. He's starting some more beasts. He's saying more retarded shit. First thing he said is he basically just like made himself look weird. He went, he was on a call with Aiden Ross or maybe Aiden Ross was reacting to him. But he basically said that after his fight with Deji, his dick stopped working for a while. Like, he got ED, like, straight up ED. Here, I'll just play the clip for you guys real quick. I lost my confidence after the Deji fight for nine months. And there was one time I went two months not even getting a single boner. Not in the morning, not at night, not even if I jacked off. I could literally come while flaccid. Like, I could be what? soft and get myself to come just by squeezing it. I lost my... Bro, What? Hey, you sitting here kicking his legs like a fucking girl on the phone with their crush while he's fucking doing this. Zesty ass motherfucker. Maybe he's just gay. Who knows? Oh my god, bro. He just, so he would just be off flaccid? What? What? Okay. Okay. This guy's weird. Next. More Fousey Tube stuff. So basically, the clown Colossal is crazy. You guys know him. He did a lot of documentary style videos. He's a goaded, absolutely goaded YouTuber, one of the OGs. Um, I more known him from being on Mom's Basement podcast, which was a great podcast, by the way, with Keemstar, Face Banks, and Colossal. Great podcast. But he tweeted this out with all the Fousey Soup stuff. And I'm pretty sure he has made a Fousey Tube video before. Here, let me find out. Let me find out real quick. Yeah, he has made a Fousey 2 video before, as you can see right here. He's made two of them a long time ago. He's made two Fousey 2 videos. So, yeah, he says, am I coming out of retirement for this? Which would be awesome. I would love to see him drop a Fousey 2 video. He, I think he definitely should come out of fucking retirement for this. More on Fousey 2. He basically, he, he came after this guy... Bruce drop him off. You know, he's the guy that was like, fat bitches need to shut the fuck up. You know that guy? He went viral for that clip. I can't, like, I can't play the clip of him firing back at FouseyTube because FouseyTube apparently came after him for something. I think it was because he got a better kick deal than FouseyTube and FouseyTube, that, that rubbed him the wrong way and he came after him. And Bruce dropped him off, basically said, fuck you, FouseyTube. You're, uh, you're, sec you're a sexual assaulter. Um, you need to go check yourself into a mental hospital, as it says right here. And now I'm going to play FouseyTube's response to it for you. I have to cut out the beginning of it because, you know, copyright music, yada, yada, all that fucking bullshit that no one gives a fuck about, but I have to be wary of the rules anyways. He does that shit, though. He, he beefed with DDG for all along. He's mad salty right now. Send that to me. He's mad salty. Please we passed him on our first day. He got like a $30 million deal. He got like a $30 million deal. I'm about to tell Kick, literally, I, when Twitch unbans me, I'm going to go pay me more than you paid Bruce, so I'm not coming. I swear to God. Hey, and the person he beefed with, DDG, tweeted the other day and said, Fousey, been the goat. Hey, he literally just made all his followers, but like, even if they didn't know you, they're probably like, who the fuck is Fousey? They all know who's the whole internet knows one. Okay, this guy's got some serious fucking ego issues, man. He says he's not going to go to kick if they don't give him a better deal and pay him more. That's out of control. I don't think FouseyTube realizes how fucking insane he is. Like, dude, his ego is like inflated to another level. He thinks people are watching him because they like him when in reality people are watching him to watch him go fucking insane because it's entertaining it's fun watching people go insane why do you think they got documentaries on psychopaths like people aren't watching you because they're you're their favorite fucking streamer dude they're watching you because you're losing it 
And th in all fairness, it is pretty fucking funny to watch. All right, next up in the news is Logan Paul. I knew when I started making commentary videos, I was going to have to start fucking talking about this eventually. Logan Paul is under fire because he put a bet on, I think, his own fight. Yeah, he bet KSI, I think it was. He He's coming after someone. He's coming after someone, and he's fighting... I don't know if he's fighting Dylan Dennis or someone else is fighting Dylan Dennis. I haven't been super caught up on Logan Paul. But he put a bet on the fight for a million dollars. He's that confident he would win. I'm pretty sure he's winning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's fighting. Yeah. Okay, he's fighting, but I'm not sure who he's fighting. But it's a bet against Dylan Dennis or something. He put a million dollar bet on it. So apparently he has a million dollars to be betting on his fights when he still has $1.8 million that he needs to pay back for the CryptoZoo victims. If you guys don't know about the CryptoZoo stuff, I'll basically... It's a very, very long story, but I'll wrap it up quick for you. I'll give you guys the quick summary of it, the TLDR. Basically, Logan Paul started a cryptocurrency NFT thing, like a crypto like video game almost, where you buy these eggs with cryptocurrency that you pay for, and it hatches into an animal, and you can get other eggs, and you fuse them together, and you can buy and trade them and make money. And apparently, he advertised it as, like, this big fucking thing where you can make a lot of money off of it. And all kinds of people invested into these eggs and were never able to cash out any of the money that they got from it. Like, any of the zoo coin that they got from it. And it went under the radar for a very long time. And then a guy named CoffeeZilla made a full-out exposed video on Logan Paul exposing all of his fucking bullshit. And then Logan Paul originally came out the gate super aggro, fucking accusing CoffeeZilla of fucking lying and saying he's going to sue him. And then after he got even more shit for that, he came back and was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll make sure that I'll repay everyone. And then six months pass, CoffeeZilla contacts him, see if he paid anyone. He didn't pay anyone. His lawyer contacted CoffeeZilla saying, you know, we got it under control. We're trying to figure out a plan, which basically when someone says we're trying to figure out a plan after six months and they said they had a plan originally, that means they're not paying anyone back. So basically, here, I'll play the clip real quick of Logan Paul making the bet. If you're so confident in your boy, I got a bet for you. I bet Dylan, but he's a broke bitch. I got a million dollars that says I beat your boy on October 14th. Come on, bro. Come on. I know you caked up. See how confident you are. Imagine all the coke you can buy, you fucking drug addict. Two dummies, one night, October 14th. I'm fucking you both up. If you're so confident. Is he fighting two people? He might be. And basically, Dylan Dennis, like, quote tweeted and said, bro has the money to bet a million dollars, but can't pay off the people he scammed. That's crazy. I do agree. But this man, Dylan Dennis, is a scammer, too. He's a scammer, too. It's so hypocritical coming from him, of all people. I'm pretty sure he's scammed. I'm pretty sure he's scammed. Hold on. Let me fact check real quick before I fucking make myself look like an idiot. Dude, he is... Bro, he is a scammer. Fucking... Okay. So, now, now I gotta go into another fucking little monologue about this. Not monologue. More like a fucking sidetrack. Dylan Dennis scammed himself. He fucking... So basically, I mean, it's not on the level of Logan Paul scam where he, like, fucking made his own, like, rug pull. He basically... He would tweet out rug pulls. Like, he would advertise rug pulls to his fans on Twitter. And Oompaville was suspicious that these are rug pulls. So he made a fucking whole fake NFT account and contacted Dylan Dennis saying, Hey, I'll pay you $5,000 to promote our rug pull. It's a scam. We know it's a scam. We just need to tweet out this crypto rug pull for us. And he took he took the five grand. I don't know if he actually took the five grand. He like sent them one thousand and then he tweeted it out and he was supposed to send the other, but they caught him fucking scamming, so they didn't, obviously. So I just find it very fucking ironic that Dylan Dennis of all people is fucking going after Logan Paul for scamming when he is a scammer himself. And also, yeah, basically anytime right here, as you can see right here. Anytime anyone calls out Logan Paul on his fucking scam, he blocks them. You know, we, not very surprising, though. Also in the news, fucking more XQC shit, dude. I am so fucking... Oh, my God. I'm so fucking done covering XQC. I think ever since the Lizzo video, I've had to cover XQC in every single one of these videos. But basically, his ex-girlfriend adept, you know, he's still in a drama with her. She came out saying he tried to get two women pregnant in the same week. Here, I'll play the clip for you guys. Have you guys ever tried to get two women pregnant within one week of each other? 
Have you guys ever tried to do that? Is that normal behavior? Is that something that your parents do or your brothers do? Who does? Yeah, okay. And then <laughs> right here, <laughs> game is game, you know? Game is game right here. Game is game. Blah, 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 shut the fuck up. It looks like most people on this issue are taking XQC side. And then basically, but oh, no, hey, 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 this ain't the end of it. She came out and started saying he was physically abusing her, right? And then XQC come out with this video. It's a minute and a half long. I guess I'll play it for you guys. You can skip through it if you want. But, I mean, honestly, I don't think he fucking abused anyone. Look at this guy. You think this guy is abusing anyone? I don't think this guy is abusing anyone. I don't think this guy could abuse himself if he wanted to. Listen, listen I, don't, I don't think he's got the brain capacity to do that. Being very clear with my words, I'm being very fucking clear and there's no misunderstanding. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. It's not funny. Because it is funny. Some of the comments and the people that are saying is fucking unhinged and I will not stand for that. Okay? In all of my relations, whether it's with friends, whether it's, uh, it's with girls, I have never been a singular incident physically abusive a singular time. It has never happened. And there, there will be nothing about that ever anywhere that has not happened. It is not funny. Okay. And there's a billion reasons why it. And I, I, I wish, dude, dude, dude. I have my own trauma with my own my, my own things blah 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 okay yeah he's going on to shit we don't care about now but yeah that's basically it short little video for today and you know it fucking sucks you know why today it sucks that today is a short video because i had an absolutely cracked game of fortnite that is playing in the background of this fucking video i clutched the fuck up and got a victory royale. And now I can't fucking put it in the video. Because today is a short day. No, I was crossing my fingers that we were going to have a loaded news day. So I could show off my fucking Fortnite skills. But no, it's a short news day. But yeah, basically that's it guys. Go to www.w.gg. Use code ZAR96 before checkout for 20% off. And you pay me in the process. Because, you know, your boy can't have a channel membership program yet. Once I can, I'll have you guys just sign up for that. And it'll just be 5 bucks a month. And you can pay me directly and support the channel. But I have to hit 500 subs first. Right now, the goal is 100 subs. Let's try and get 100 subs, boys. Come on, before the end of the month, let's push it to 100 subs. We got this. But yeah. That's it, guys. Yada, yada. All the fucking outro bullshit. Make sure you fucking leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that. It helps so much, guys. It helps more than you fucking know. Just sharing the video to a friend or posting it on your story, anything like that, it helps more than you could even understand. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. I love all of you. I'll see you guys in the next one.